what up what up what up it's your boy jb coming right back at you man welcome back to the channel can caitlin clark and the fever win it all man i don't know if y'all just saw the recent game against the minnesota lynx and caitlin clark didn't even play that well but man i gotta tell you something happened looks like the gm came out and said she wasn't gonna fire christy sides and that kind of thing so we can put that one to bed but Minnesota is once again a, one of the top teams in the WNBA. And just like against the New York Liberty, the Fever won. So it got me thinking, can these boys get into the, ladies, get into the, get into the actual playoffs and make a run? Can they win it all? And guys, I'm starting to say yes. If Caitlin, if they're beating Minnesota, one of the top teams, and Caitlin Clark misses that many shots, and they still win guys this thing is crazy Leah boston playing lights out kelsey playing lights out this this thing is possible man and i can tell y'all like this if if caitlin clark hits her shots who's beating them so when people click on this video the first thing i want people to know is if i start running some screens and getting caitlin clark some more cleaner looks getting her some more cleaner opportunities and, and, and Aaliyah and Kelsey are hitting shots. This way, if Nalissa Smith, if Nalissa comes, man, look, that's gravy points right there. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if we can get Caitlin Clark hitting shots in the beginning of the game and she can get some clean looks, who's beating them? So I think it's imperative that try to protect her on the defensive end so that she's not wasting so much energy on the defensive end. Keep the ball in her hands, and if she's playing off the ball, run some hard screens and start getting her to hit four or five threes a game. Because when she broke old girl's ankles last night, I said, oh, my God, this girl is the truth. So if I can get Caitlin Clark some early looks, get her some, get her some cleaner looks. Guys, if she hits five more shots, this is a blowout. I mean, Minnesota didn't, Minnesota didn't stand a chance. And why do we talk about Caitlin Clark going to be the rookie of the year? Offense flows through her. If she hits five or six more shots, she's dropping 30 points, basically. Minnesota didn't have a shot. And Minnesota really never looked like they could beat this team anyway. And the reason, the, the real surprising reason I'm saying Caitlin Clark got a chance to win it all, every game is a home game. Every game is a home game. She is packing the stands for every game so when every game is a home game the other team doesn't have a home court advantage that's why i'm saying they got a chance to win it all and if they don't win it all they can go deep into the playoffs because a lot of these people are not used to playing in front of packed houses for her it's just like practice and if she could get some clean looks and get her score get her points early on in the game instead of them coming late in the game only if she can drop 10 15 points in the first half and then get 10 15 points in the second half in a home court setting, even when they're on the road, who's beating them? She has an unfair advantage because everybody's traveling to come see her play. Half of Over half of the people in the stands yesterday were Indiana Fever, Caitlin Clark fans. Guys, I believe this team can go all the way. You're playing home games, and if Caitlin Clark can get hot in the first half and be effective down the stretch in the second half, who's beating that team? They beat the Liberty. They beat Minnesota, right? Got to show they can play with somebody like Connecticut and the Aces. But at the end of the day, as this team keeps playing and Caitlin Clark continues to figure it out, guys, this thing is crazy. We're not even talking about the rookie of the year discussion anymore. She's beating the top teams, right? This is not this Angel Reese stuff, right? She's beating the top teams, carrying the load for her team, distributing the ball like crazy. Got, a look, got, got Boston looking like a whole new player all of a sudden. And guys, this thing is a wrap. You're playing home games even when you're on the road. If you can get hot in the first half, get hot in the second half too this thing is over y'all get down in the comment section let me know what y'all think about caitlin clark and the fever making a deep run or even potentially winning it at all man it's jeff crazy or it's jeff owned or something if you hadn't already mash that like button hit that subscribe button turn that bell for notifications and until next time we go holler